Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to explore a little bit about the different types of characters available via Character Creator, and the various controls that you can use to modify their motions in Unreal Engine, including facial animations. Each character type has features and aspects that make it suitable for its own unique production goals, including architectural rendering, game design, film production, industrial commercialization, business marketing, and more. We're going to look at three main character types here. CC3 Plus, Actor Core, and Accurate. Let's start off with CC3 Plus models, the highest tier of model in terms of detail, flexibility, utility, and visual quality. You can find out what type of model you have selected in the top of the Attributes tab in the Modify panel. In this case, you can see it's a CC3 Plus. This next one is an Actor Scan type, which falls under the Actor Core category of characters. And lastly, we have this humanoid character, which is most often a character imported directly via the Accurig tool, a free rigging tool that sets up your character mesh with a rig and waiting within minutes. CC3 Plus characters are compatible with any and all Reillusion motion data for both body and face. They also contain a robust material structure that allows for detailed material editing via both traditional texture editing methods and also with the embedded SkinGen plugin, which provides procedural material editing options. CC3 Plus characters can also utilize Reillusion's massive library of clothing, accessories, and props to customize them even further. Not to mention a powerful hair system for both facial and scalp hair. Actor Core characters are low poly models that provide a more efficient and resource saving alternative for your production purposes, and are available for purchase on the Actor Core site as individual models or as part of bundles, which you can preview with different lighting and animations. They have limited customizability in the form of RGB and color ID masks, which allow you to change their colors and textures. Accurig characters are generated by importing your external models via the Accurig Auto Rigging tool. This is a quick and intuitive process that, once finished, makes your model compatible with all Reillusion body motion data. You can apply a variety of embedded test motions or click and drag motions from the content manager as well. Those are the three main character model types, and the good news is that they're all compatible with the same UE control rig, meaning that you can utilize the powerful IKFK editing to customize and refine your motions in Unreal. Okay, now that we've summarized the three main character types, let's look at the difference in their facial animation capabilities. In the Animation tab of the Modify panel, you'll find the Facial Profile Editor, within which you'll find the Facial Profile assigned to your character. In the case of CC3 Plus characters, this will be the CC Extended Profile, which provides the most comprehensive facial animation capabilities, including more than 160 blend shapes for the most realistic and high-quality performance. Actor Core characters utilize the CC Standard Facial Profile, which contains a much more basic group of blend shapes, which makes them lighter and more in line with production pipelines that don't require them to be the main detailed focus. If you see traditional here, instead of CC3 Plus Standard, simply click on it to convert it. Since Accurig currently only deals with body rigging, the resulting characters don't come with a facial profile set up initially. However, you can create your own by importing in custom blend shapes for the specified parameters. You can check out the relevant tutorials in our Learning Center for more on this process. Let's look at how the facial animation control panels differ for each character type in Unreal next. With CC3 Plus characters, you'll be able to utilize the CC Extended Control Panel setup. The panel on the left here controls mainly facial expressions, while the one on the right is for more detailed tweaks of individual facial muscles. This is very similar to the face controller in Unreal, and allows for very detailed facial control. Actor Core and Accurig characters use a standard control panel. It's designed for basic facial expressions, and although it's mostly the same in appearance as the extended control panel, it won't utilize a lot of the sliders as the source facial animation data is more basic. The red boxes here indicate the additional sliders that aren't available in the standard control panel. Next, let's look at how to import in a fully custom skeletal model and enable it for use with the CC UE control rig. Start off by importing your model and selecting Character Humanoid.
Since this model contains a custom skeleton, we need to begin by mapping the bones for motion retargeting. If your model uses a popular standard rig setup like those from Maya, Blender, Mixamo, or many more, this will be auto-detected and you won't need to go through this process. Make sure that you have your model in a T-pose as well before proceeding. Map the bones by clicking on your model's bones one by one and assigning them to the relevant bone on the reference dummy to the right, beginning from the hip and proceeding outwards. Different models may present different mapping configurations, but generally your humanoid bipeds will have a consistent number of bones in relatively the same positions. Once the mapping is complete, your character will be able to use reillusion motions. However, we still need another step to make it compatible with the CC UE control rig. In the Bone Manager, you can see that the number of bones and their naming conventions remain the same. This is because the bone mapping process only provides a retargeting reference. It doesn't convert the actual skeletal rig to the standard reillusion one. To do this, we need to use AccuRig. Choose Create New Guides and then Extrapolate Guides from Skeleton, which uses the original skeleton as a positioning reference when generating our new rig. Click Generate Skeleton and Keep Existing Set and then proceed to tweak the positioning of any bone markers. Once you're finished, click Bind Skin, which will generate a complete Reillusion Skeletal Rig for your model with the standard naming conventions and hierarchy. Finally, we can bring the character into Unreal Engine. Be sure to have the free Auto Setup plugin installed in your Reillusion project first, in addition to the Unreal Engine control rig. Once you set up your level sequence, the UE control rig will then automatically be assigned, and you'll be good to go. So that's a summary of the main Reillusion character types, their basic features, and how you can get them into Unreal Engine complete with UE control rig functionality. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.